Hello grade 3, welcome to our new science session. Today we will solve unit 9 review. So please before starting open your books on page 397 and you will also solve 398 and 399. If you are ready, let's get started. Use the terms in the box to complete the sentences. The words are volume, liquid, physical properties, physical change, evaporation, solution. Let's start with the first question. If you stir sugar into tea, the sugar will completely mix in water, forming a what will form a kind of mixture which is called solution. So in sentence number one we used the last word which is solution. Okay, number two. If you multiply the length of a rectangular solid by its width and its height, you will find its volume. Do you remember when we said length times width times height? It will equal the volume of a solid matter. Number three, molding clay into the shape of an animal is an example of a, you will use your play-doh clay to make a shape of any animal or any object. What are you making like this? It's an example of a physical change. Why? Because the same substance or the same matter which is clay or play-doh is still here only some of its properties change it so here we used physical change the next one The size and shape of an object are sum of its size, shape, mass, volume. All of these are, yeah, physical properties. Physical properties. The next one, number five, at 30 degrees Celsius, water is a, when it's at 30 degrees, it will be liquid. Do you remember this grading when it's between zero and 100, it will be liquid because when it's zero degree, it will be ice and when it's 100 it will start boiling or evaporation and changing into gas which is water vapor the next one liquid water can change into a gas by boiling it or by i have just said it by evaporation here we wrote evaporation Okay, the next one, question number seven, you need only to underline the correct answer. A rock has a mass of 30 grams, a block has also a mass of 30 grams. What must be true about the rock and the block? They are similar in what? They have the same volume? They are the same temperature, they contain the same type of matter, they contain the same amount of matter. Mass means the same amount of matter. 
both of them have the same mass or the same amount of matter so it will be letter D question number eight Ari wants to find the volume of a rectangular box what should he do the volume I guess we have just said it he has to measure the length and height of the box multiply the length by the height letter B measure the length and height of the box add the length to the height letter C measure the length width and height of the box multiply the length by the width by the height or letter D measure the length width and height of the box add the length the width and the height the best answer will be letter C he has to measure the length width and height and multiply all of them length times width times height the next one number eight sorry number nine the picture below shows a change in state what state change is taking place in the picture here it's an ice cream and then it melts so which change happened here solid to liquid solid to gas liquid to gas liquid to solid it was solid and it changed to be a liquid by melting so it's letter a number 10 stephanie observes the color of a liquid then she uses a thermometer to measure the temperature of the liquid finally she uses a graduated cylinder to find the volume of the liquid what type of properties did stephanie observe color temperature and volume all of them are physical properties chemical properties temporary properties permanent properties she could observe and measure so all of them are physical properties it will be letter a physical 11 origami is the art of paper folding swans flowers and many other shapes can be made out of colored paper what type of change takes place in origami you use the paper which is already colored to make shapes with paper paper is still paper just colored and shaped into many shapes so this is a chemical change color change physical change or solution change of course it will be a physical change because no new substance or no new matter is formed paper is still paper question number 12 darshana pours 50 milliliters of water into a graduated cylinder she placed a small toy dinosaur into the graduated cylinder it sinks to the bottom she observes that the water level rises to 63 milliliters what can you conclude the water was 50 then it rises to be 63 so what can the girl conclude the mass of the dinosaur is 13 milliliters the mass of the dinosaur is 63 milliliters the volume of the dinosaur is 13 milliliters or the volume of the dinosaur is 63 milliliters first what is a graduated cylinder as we studied it's a tool which measures the volume of liquids and we can compare two volumes using this graduated cylinder we will subtract or make minus so the volume of the dinosaur alone will be 
63 minus 50 which will be 13 so the volume of the dinosaur is 13 milliliters not the mass a graduated cylinder is used to measure volume not mass 13 Saleh placed objects on a balance what is Saleh most likely doing using a balance he is comparing the length of two objects he is comparing the masses of two objects he is comparing the hardness of two objects he is comparing the volume of two objects a balance is used to compare the masses of objects so it will be letter b the next one number 14 Aiden and Carlos went camping the picture shows one thing the boys did on their camping trip which sentence explains how the boys knew a chemical change took place here there is some wood and then they burn the wood they said it's a chemical change but why did they say so why did they say it's a chemical change because it was difficult to start the fire how did we know the fire took a long time to go out they had to chop the wood into pieces or ashes and smoke formed during the fire do you remember what is a chemical change it's a change in which new kinds of matter are formed so it will be letter d ashes and smoke formed during the fire two new kinds of matter are formed here it was only wood and then it changed to two new kinds of matter the next question number 15 Lizzie observes that a substance has a definite shape and volume what is she most likely to do change the state of the substance first which kind of matter or which state of matter has definite shape and volume it's solid so to change it what should she do place the substance in a dark closet place the substance in the freezer place the substance in a high location or place the substance in a warm oven of course it will be letter d she will put this solid matter in high temperature in the oven to melt it so it will change from being solid to a liquid the next one number 16 Declan mixed lemon juice water and sugar in a large pitcher he stirred until the sugar was dissolved what type of mixture did he make solution property separation condensation of course he made a solution all the solid which is sugar is completely mixed it dissolve it it's not here anymore you can only taste it you cannot see it or separate it 17 Tam wanted to separate the salt from water which of the following is the best option he needs to get the salt out of the water allow the water to condense on a cold object allow the water to evaporate freeze the salt water keep the water at a constant temperature to keep the salt and make the water not here he want to separate them so he has to allow the water to evaporate so it will change into water vapor or gas it will not be seen and only the salt will stay the last question number 18 
A substance has a definite volume, but it takes the shape of its container. A student heats the substance. The substance expands, filling the container. Which change of state did the student most likely observe? A change from a liquid to a gas. A change from a solid to a liquid. A change from a liquid to a solid. Or a change from a gas to a liquid. Let's move back to the question. It has definite volume, but it takes of the shape of its container. So it is a liquid. Then when it's heated, it expanded and filled all the containers. So it changed from being a liquid to a gas. So it's letter A. Okay, grade three, don't forget to solve these questions in your book and study them very well. Thank you for listening.